everyone welcome to another cool video in react native so in this video we'll be exploring about a card system in react native or react so a card system basically provides like two functionalities so the first one is uh, the add to cart functionality so over here when we press on the add to cart button that is over here we need to get that item inside our cart the uh, inside our cart and in the second functionality is the remove from cart functionality so if we press on remove from cart button uh, that uh, that particular uh, uh, item inside our cart should be deleted and then we should display the cart all right so first let's get started and then let me explain the boilerplate code over here so i've created a new expo project okay so and then i've created a file called as the cart and i have imported cart inside app.js and let's go to our cart.js so over here at the top i have made a I have initialized images and then provided the data that is it, uh, each item inside images contain contains a specific ID that particular image and the name so we have three uh, items that is ice cream biscuits and then chocolate and then with the help of uh, map function I have rendered it like this so let me explain that so I've written images.map for every item inside images I'm rendering a pressable alright so inside pressable we have two views that is the first one is this one so this contains the image that is over here. I've, I've, I've provided basic uh, width and height to the image as well as a border radius. And then the, the next one is this view. So uh, the first part of this view contains the text that is the name. And the second part contains add to cart. All right, so now let's get started. So now if I click on add to cart, we should be able to get that item inside our cart. Okay, so first let's initialize our cart over here with the help of view state. So const uh, cart comma set cart. Uh, equals to u state yeah so uh, over here we'll provide the initial value so in uh, for us uh, it's going to be an empty array because there is nothing inside our cart at the initial position so let's save all right so now what we do is we create an on press event on the pressable that is over here that is on add to cart on press so here let's uh, first check if it's working so console dot one so if I press on the uh, add to cart it should give me that message saying pressed all right we're getting the message is working fine so now what we do is now we write the logic for uh, add to cart now I have initialized as you can see here the cart and set cart with the help of use state now we will set the cart instead of this message uh, we will write a uh, set cart to be oh, come on okay so whatever was there inside our cart initially and we are going to uh, add the item that we pressed all right okay something is not right okay i've taken it as sir cart set cart all right so now if i press on add to cart uh, we should see the item adding into the cart and then if uh, let me write the console.log over here and let's console our cart and check if everything is working fine let's write a message over here which says cart items and then save the file so initially as you can see over here we have cart items and uh, and it is saying empty array so if i press on add to cart it should show me the first item with this information that is id of zero the image and then the name that is ice cream because we are concurring it with this item all right so let us try that yeah so as you can see we can see that coming that is we can see the id coming we can see the name of the uh, the image and the name of the item that we click that is ice cream all right so now let's click on the second item as well so that also should go inside our cart yeah, so as you can see, we have that too coming. This is the first console log and this is the second console log. Over here, we have the previous itself, the previous card that we had, that is this one. And then we are adding the item that we just pressed, that is biscuit. So the, the, uh, this is the logic for that. That is uh, add whatever was there inside our cart initially and then the item that we just added into the cart. All right, so that's the logic for add to cart. Now, let's design it in such a way that 
if we click if we press on add to cart then this ui should show us uh remove from cart as well okay so for that uh i think we can make use of the include function okay so let's write the logic for that let's let me minimize this terminal and to write the logic for that we will make use of the include function as i said so over here we will write the condition we will write if the cart dot includes of that item we render something else we render the other thing that is removed from cart okay so if it includes the item uh, we will show remove from cart if it does not include the item in the initial stage we will show add to cart all right so let's copy this principle as is it and then we will paste it over here and we'll copy this again one more time and then we'll paste it over here so if it includes we are going to write remove from cart okay uh, so if it does not include that item which we are clicking then we are going to show add to cart all right so for this let's okay this uh, condition is right i mean this function uh, this uh, logic is right and for remove from cart we will write it and let's first save the file and check if it is working or not yeah so it's working absolutely fine and now yeah we have two items in our cart array so now let's write the logic for remove from cart so over here we'll be making use of the filter function and then we'll be applying the condition to it so let's go to that so over here we write on press take the function here we write set cart to be we'll make use of the filter function that is cart dot filter takes a i value we write x dot id should not be equal to the item dot id all right so it filters out all the items based on this condition so save the file Alright, so let's uh, begin the application from the start. Alright, and and then check if it's working or not. So let's reload our application. And then check if both the functionalities are working in the order we want. Yeah, so initially we have an empty array as you can see over here in the console. So if I press on the add to cart button, okay, uh, the first item should be added to the cart. And the second thing is it should show me remove from cart because that because the cart includes that particular item we just added. All right. So let's try that. So if I press on add to cart. Yeah, there you go. We can see the car. Uh, we can see the item being added to the cart. And then we have the remove from cart. It's working absolutely fine. So next one. We'll try the same thing for the next for the, the for the third item as well. So I'll press on add to cart. Yeah, so that's also go, uh, showing remove from cart. So now if I press uh, uh, remove from cart, the ice cream should be deleted. That data should be deleted because we are applying a condition that uh, x dot id should not be equal equal to the item dot id. So let's go try that. And again, it should show me uh, add to cart because the cart does not include that particular item. So let's try that there you go it's working absolutely fine so let's try for the last item as well yes it's working absolutely fine so now let's try to render it over here at the bottom part of the screen so let's add like two items and over here just beneath the that line we will render the items by making use of the map function so card dot map for every item inside map we will render a view all right, so this will contain the image. So this takes in the source. And then over here, we will give it as item dot image. Not within double quotes. So item dot image over here. And then let us provide some basic styling so that we can see it on the screen. Uh, width of, let's give the same width that we gave previously. 
okay let's just copy this all right so over here let's go paste it okay and the next thing we do is we will render the name so with the help of the text tag over here we will write item dot name so now if i save the file we should see two images coming up that is the ice cream image and the biscuit image with their uh, respective data so save yeah so as you can see we can see the cart items present all right so let us give a message as well saying cart items did. and then save the file all right let's provide some spacing so let's give it a margin of 10 save the file all right so this is about the basic card system so we can add the we can add to cart we can remove from cart and we can try all those functionalities and here we are not making use of quantity because it's it's, it's just a basic a basic system that is add that particular item to the cart and then remove from the cart so in, in my next video i'll be uh, making a video on the advanced uh, card system like that will even uh, monitor the quantity and then we can write the logic for that so if i add to cart it should show me if i add this to cart it should show me if i remove from cart it's gone it's gone okay so that's it for this video i hope it's useful 